Minecraft shaders have been removed from Minecraft Bedrock Edition for years now, but what if I told you there's a brand new method on how to get shaders without ray tracing? In today's video, I'm going to show you guys just that, a brand new method for 1.20 on how to get shaders. Let's go. Hello YouTube, welcome back to yet again another video, and today I'm going to be going over how to get shaders for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. As you guys can see, I do have shaders working on a global resource pack, and it's actually super easy. And I'm actually on Windows 10 right now, and I believe this does work for Android, iOS, and Nintendo Switch as well. So you guys don't want to go anywhere, and I'm also going to show you guys how all of the shaders look like, and give you my honest opinion, because I'm so excited, because we haven't had shaders in years. But if you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing and liking the video it would mean a lot to me but anyways let's go to jump right into it to get started you want to go down to the description below and there should be an article explaining how to get shaders for minecraft bedrock edition there's going to be a link to the better render dragon engine right here then you want to go down to releases it's going to say it right here and you want to go ahead and click on it to get started all you got to go ahead and do is click the link down in the description below and there's going to be an article actually explaining how to get shaders for minecraft bedrock edition it's actually super easy and i'm going to make a separate video on xbox so definitely stay tuned but as you guys can see right here we do have the better render dragon engine and it's literally just going to go ahead and load things for you, you want to go ahead and click on releases i know it's not in english it's in actually mandarin but let's go ahead and click on releases here then you want to click on better render dragon 1.3.3 it's going to be the zip not the source code so just like that go ahead and download it next we need to go ahead and obtain a shader that works on render dragon so let's go ahead and look through this list and they have a bunch of different ones as you can see they have Windows 10, Android, iOS. So this one works for all of them. But some of them, you do have to go ahead and pay attention. It may be working specifically for Android and iOS, just like some of these down here. So definitely keep that in mind. And scrolling down, you can see that some of these shaders are actually exclusive to specific editions. But personally, I like going ahead and using this one right here. It's actually one of my favorites. This is going to be the YSSRD shader. RD standing for Render Dragon. Simply go down to, you see, 1.9.8 eight and it's going to be an mc pack and it's also going to be the material loader which is actually really cool material bin loader simply click on download just like that and then you want to go ahead and bring these two files that we just got in the better render dragon engine and also the yss shader into a separate folder so once you have the two zip files extracted, you have all these folders right here. So you have better render dragon, you have iOS, Android, Windows, and Switch. For us, we're going to go ahead and click on Windows. So you do have the option, I believe, to put this inside of your own texture pack, which is pretty cool. So they give you all the resources. Or you actually can go ahead and load up this MC pack itself and then go ahead and load it into Minecraft. But you can actually do that last. Click on Better Render Dragon and then click on Launch Minecraft. Craft. If you guys want to go ahead and load it in preview, you guys can go ahead and do it as well. Once this is done, it's going to go ahead and load up just like that. I want to show you guys exactly what it looks like. I believe there should be a menu popping up right around here, but I have closed it. I'm not too sure on how to go ahead and open it, but it's honestly not too important. It basically allows you to go ahead and load shaders from resource packs and also show FPS as well. I'm pretty sure there is a way to go ahead and open up the menu, but I just haven't done enough research yet. Once everything is loaded, you want to go over to your your settings then you want to go over to resource packs global resource packs and click on active and then i already have put on the yss shader and then once that is done you have shaders for your non rtx device you also do have the ability to turn off rtx as well inside of the menu that i was talking about but let's go ahead and check out the shader here on cubecraft one of my favorite servers and then it's going to go ahead and load up and i really do like the nighttime effect with this shader and you guys got to go ahead and see it for yourselves so we are in the game right now and take a look at the sky it looks absolutely beautiful and take a look at the trees as well so it actually has some really nice shading all around and this is pretty much what the new feature of shaders looks like obviously there's a bunch of other shaders out there but i wanted to go ahead and showcase this because these are the people that have made shaders possible on bedrock edition and i actually am super thankful to the whole yss shader group and i believe they also have been developing on java as well which is actually super nice of them to go ahead and make everything cross compatible so this is what the shaders look like on a single player world and they look absolutely stunning just take a look at that night sky 
and you can also see the reflective water as well looks really really nice if we go ahead and set it to daytime here we can go ahead and see that there's a lot going on we are finally able to go ahead and load them from resource packs which is amazing and take a look at this right here like just look at that tree it actually has like an amazing sh like shade right there and just so many different features so let's go ahead and see if we could find some more things just roaming around this is what like it's going to be darker and overall i'm pretty happy with this and oh this is actually pretty cool as well look at that guys so we can go ahead and place down these like leaves here these marshland roots look absolutely stunning as well honestly i haven't been to a slot pile in a while and it actually really looks amazing guys so if you want to go ahead and check out this shader down in the description below but let's go ahead and check out the next one next up we do have the bicubic shaders and this is also going to be down in the description below this is absolutely stunning and what i like about this one it's a little bit more calmer than the other one the other one was super bright and overblown but this is definitely a very calm experience when it comes down to shaders and i'm just roaming around and i believe the sand is also a lot darker i can already see like the sky is darker and everything just looks really really nice as you can see right here this is what the sand is going to look like and honestly i'm pretty happy with this because it's not as bright as before but can always be modified but this definitely looks really really good digging down i believe we can go ahead and find ourselves a cave but look at that tree right there they also do have the shading for that as well so let's go ahead and dig straight down see if we can go ahead and find any type of cave because that would be really really nice and we can go ahead and test out the lighting also another feature i forgot to go over is the glowing ores which is a really nice touch especially in these caves so you can go around and the only thing that i don't like about this is that the lighting is a little bit duller on this shader so definitely a very nice touch especially when it comes down to caves but that could definitely be a downside but i didn't even catch that they would add in a feature like this such as going ores into a bedrock shader so definitely really really cool another touch that i think a lot of these shaders could possibly do is actually having where it's connected glass this is definitely a touch that i have added into my personal shaders and i'm thinking of modifying some of these shaders for my personal use so i can go ahead and have them looking a little bit better such as darker sand and also some stained glass where it's going to be connected as well which is a really nice touch but i want your guys's opinion on them so let's go ahead and go to midnight and this is what it's going to look like super dark which could be a downside especially if your brightness is very low but if we go ahead and place ourselves down some torches even this lighting is a little bit darker but i am happy that they do have the reflective water as well next up we do have the sfd shaders and these look really really good and i forgot to go out and test out water and just rain in general on the other shader but as you can see the sky has been completely changed so let's go ahead and set it to day i think the only thing that i'm noticing is that the nighttime is just not as effective as i thought it would be so i want to go ahead and set it to daytime real quick and look at this yep these are fog shaders but overall they do have a really nice effect and this is what a lot of people have been using for the longest of times because you we weren't able to go out and get shaders but now we're able to go out and get some real heavy hitting shaders out there now a lot of people seem to like these because they do give off the type of emulation of shaders but they're not quite shaders so it kind of gives off this fog effect this is cool overall though with brighter vegetation and just greenery all around let me know down in the comments section below and what are you guys going to go ahead and use which shader is your favorite out of this ones that i showed i do have a top 10 list coming out later on in this week so definitely don't want to go to miss on in that and i'll see you guys next time on the next video for shift replays bye